Could, could you please clarify what TET stands for in relation to uh, microtonal scales and music? Okay, so this is the idea of equal temperament. So the ET comes from equal temperament. So a familiar reference for everyday musicians who've grown up in the West and maybe learned a couple of things from uh, the way we do things is that we have 12 equal notes in an octave. So the octave is, is a kind of frame. We divide that into different steps. So you could see the traditional tuning system as 12 TET or 12 tone equal temperament. However, you could change that number. Why not, why not have 13 tones? And we divide that octave into 13 equal tones and see what kind of music can be produced with that. And so basically, if we think of an octave as being 100%, 100 divisions, we're, we're dividing that into 12 equal parts for 12 TET, or as you just alluded to, we could divide it into 13, 14, 8, 4, uh, 256, 53 different equal yep. divisions of that octave and by virtue of those divisions create microtonal music if we're going, let's say, to 13. Yeah, there's so much detail in this kind of music and there's so many different directions. And right now we're only talking about equal scales. There's non-equal scales. And then you don't even have to divide the octave. There's music <laughs> that doesn't even have octaves. So let's say if you have the note C, there will be no other C in that tuning because there are no octaves, therefore that pitch class only appears once. There's like so many different little rabbit holes within this. And so once you get into it, you, you can just keep going down this path for years and years. It never, you never run out of things to explore. Uh, when I was talking to Dave Fujinski, one of the things he was so excited about with his work with his students was that every semester someone invents a new scale, someone discovers something new. And so there's all this new ground to be broken. Could you maybe talk a little bit about what EDO means? Okay, for most purposes, EDO means the same thing as TET. EDO stands for equal divisions of the octave. So it's a slightly more descriptive term. Um, there is a very slight difference between the meaning, or let's say there's a difference in context. Because um, when we think of a temperament, we tempering is to make something slightly impure. That's where that word comes from. So when we talk about, for example, 12 tone equal temperament and 12 EDO, 12 equal divisions of the octave, the tuning is the same. However, 12 tone equal temperament means we have some idea that um, these intervals are, are approximations of pure, let's say maybe just intonation intervals, and that this tuning is a temperament. Hmm. Whereas EDO doesn't make any judgment about whether this is a temperament, whether this is supposed to approximate other things. It's literally just a description but the actual tunings will be exactly the same. So the distinction is so slight that it almost doesn't exist. Well, the distinction is slight, but the ramifications in terms of outlook and artistic intention are substantial. Because if we're thinking just in terms of creating a culture around how this music is approached, you're either coming to it from a sort of neutral, positive perspective or from, like you're saying, sort of a negative way of saying, well, there's something better than this and we're muddying the waters by creating this system. Yeah, right. 